Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Diana and I hope you're all okay. So let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Diane, let's get to it. So today, this is a video for the collaboration, the Easter collaboration for 2024, um, being run by um, Tracy over at Mini Scenes G Beat this year. So what I wanna do today, no idea if this is going to work. Um, had no idea what I was going to do. So I'm going to do a little bit of a mishmash. So I'm going to make a little tray. Try and make it yellow because I'm going to be using this Polycraft PU casting resin, which is the creamy coloured one when it cures. Um, but I'm going to try adding some yellow mica powder and some opaque yellow resinate epoxy um pigment i don't know if it's going to work like i say so that will be the tray then i'm gonna i've got this little two-part mold makes an egg it really annoys me that it makes a flat bottom but i guess it's so you can use it as like two little tr trays if you want to but anyway or you could mm, like sand it down afterwards but i'm just going to leave it as a flat bottom so i'm going to do these as a golden egg but i'm not going to use golden powder because i don't like the golden powder i've got i'm going to use this bronze metallic powder by sheena um i believe i got this from createandcraft.com yeah i did but this powder it moves just like liquid it's powder but it kind of flows like liquid can you see that moving it's I do that, it jiggles like liquid. It's so fine. But um, I'm hoping that'll look nice on as the egg. So, uh, and then to make it more Eastery, I got these from Tesco. They're just like little decorations, hanging decorations. Um, I just love the sound of them when they jiggle so uh, this looks like a little bit like our dog so cute you get a little chick which is on what i'm going to use today a carrot how cute is that carrot a little sitting bunny and a bunny with an easter egg but the one i'm going to use like i say is the little um chick because what i was originally thinking was maybe use that as a, a handle and kind of set it in the resin like that i don't know maybe i should yeah i'm gonna do that i think i was thinking that's what i was gonna do so yes i'm going to do that so when i put the resin in i'm gonna because this cube is so quickly i'm gonna fill it up to the top and then put the little chick in there and hold it in position while it cures hopefully she says but first of all what we need to do uh these came from tesco by the way if i didn't say they were about a pound i think they were something like that not a lot but first of all what i want to do Obviously, that's the last thing we need to do. Oh, yeah. But first of all, what we want to do is coat this, uh, these two pieces of mould in this powder. I'm hoping it, it sticks to the mould because I've not tried it. I'm just winging it. Um, but while we're doing that, instead of me fast forwarding through it, because all you're going to be seeing me doing is painting this. One of my viewers asked me, I've been waiting for somebody to ask this. For, for forever <laughs> where the name wendy govan studio came from so what i'm going to do is going to sit here paint molds and explain the origin of wendy govan studio name so first of all let's find a paintbrush where's the paintbrush so i'm doing it again guys and i'm losing where i put things they're literally sitting in front of me and i still can't find them paintbrush that magic paintbrush like magic it will appear so um let me just get a bit of oh get a tissue down first because i don't want this gold powder bronze powder whatever you want to call it all over my nice new resiners mat so let's open this and get started First of all, let's see if it actually sticks. 
Oh yeah, that sticks. Jolly good. So, okay, Wendy Govan Studio. I've wanted to do a YouTube channel for a long time just to share what I do. I enjoy doing because crafting is a way for me to keep check of my mentality, my mental state, and to because there's not a lot else I can do because of disabilities. So um, I've always crafted in the house, but it was just like there weren't a lot of room. I've got a lot of stuff and it takes up a lot of room and with things like I was doing resin a bit more and I didn't I was having to do it in the kitchen and obviously the fumes you don't want them circulating around your house so I thought maybe if I ask my landlord if I could get a, a shed and turn that into a studio well I just turned it into a studio I asked if I could have a shed and they says yes that's fine so I turned it in what's it so I got this shed and it was a free shed, it was, well, it, it was actually a, uh, what's it called? The person I got it from, he had been using it as like a little summer house kind of thing. It's just basically a normal shed with no door straight in the middle and a wee little window either side. Nothing spectacular. So we get this thing, he's getting rid of it because it's really falling apart. So this was during big before just before the lockdown started uh, so it was a case of we're gonna need something to keep us out occupied didn't we don't go out a lot anyway due to me not being able to get around easily so we thought we'll get something to occupy occupy us both because my husband has to stay home because of um, our, our, our youngest child is um disabled as well so it was a case of we needed he's her carer and he helps look after me as well as my oldest my oldest son at home is looks after me too so we thought well it will give us something to do occupy our minds so we're, do, we're doing this we get this shed get it shipped over brought, brought over get a man in the van kind of thing and the whole bottom half of the the shed walls are absolutely rotten so my husband works out what needs to be replaced and how we can replace it so that all gets done and eventually it takes a while it takes us nearly two years to get this whole thing done because of having to do it in bits and bobs as and when the the weather was happy with what would allow us to work and whatnot so two years later basically i actually finally get in here i do a lot of the um the easy stuff that can be done inside like the um taping up the uh water membrane thing on the insides and cutting the polystyrene for the insulation the easy stuff that i can do which took a while because obviously I can only do a little bit at a time. So, I we also used to go to B&Q, which is our local DIY store. And they'd have this like bin kind of thing. It's like a big wooden bin thing by the checkouts. And it, sometimes it'll have some really good stuff in there. And you just put a donation into the charity box that they keep there. And some sometimes they'd have some displays from off where they've taken down the displays from like laminate floors and they're obviously not selling that anymore so they would uh they put these big sheets in and i got several of these and as we were starting to put them up well let's go back a little bit never mind we got these sheets and we was, i used some of them on one of the walls they're all multicolored, but doesn't matter so anyway we put we eventually get things get it to the point where we've got to start putting the uh what are they called the walls basically on the inside internal walls on the wood for the walls to put things on whatever you know what i mean um but a lot of things kept going wrong things would mess up all the time as if if we had a little spook kind of thing 
Now, my husband kept saying, before all these things kept happening, he kept teasing and saying, oh, it's your Wendy house. You've got a big Wendy house now, you've grown up. And these things kept playing up, but they don't, it, things that only go wrong, like mischievous kind of things would happen only to my husband. And then one day I thought he, he was putting up this one, um, this one board, which was a laminate floor kind of boarding thing. And he was putting it up and he, he, he stood there and he literally, you know, when you see Mark, you see faces in patterns well he could see this face in this board so it was like well that's must that must be wendy and i love i love creepy pastas and all this like cryptid kind of things and horror stories i literally listen to them constantly for hours and hours of the creepy pasta stories on on youtube while i'm doing my diamond paintings so it was like well, I don't, I'm not happy with Wendy. I want to, I'm going to call her, it's my Wendigo. It's my own personal Wendigo. So it was going to be Wendigo Studio. But then I discovered there's actually something out, somebody else out there on the internet called Wendigo Studio. So it was like, well, I can't call it that then. But what I, when, um, I also bought myself a Switch game to play, um, Oh, what's it called? The Horizons game. Um, Animal Crossing Horizon, New Horizons. And because, like I say, I was going to call it Wendigo Studio. Wendigo Studio. I called my, my island Wendigoven. And then it was like, oh no, there we go. I'm going to call it Wendigoven Studio. So that's where it came from. It's silly, but I kind of like it. And yeah. Um, why don't you uh, tell me where you're if if you have your own channels on here? What, what, uh, why do you call your channel what you call your channel if it's something rather other than your name? It's, it's nice to find out these kind of things, right? So that's the uh, the the lid done. I'm hoping this doesn't rub off when I push it, oh, it does a little bit, but not too bad. So that's the lid. So let's pop that back the right way around and hopefully not dislodge too much then i can just top back in okay there we go i can do this <laughs> that looks funny <laughs> but uh yeah so that's the origin story of wendy govan studio like i said it'd be interesting to see if any of you have got your own channels why you named your channels what you did if it's not like i say if it's not your name so there's that so now i'm gonna just for the next one after i've done this i'm going to just put you back on fast forward and come back to you to talk to you when i'm doing the rest of it Okay, that's them done. There we go, right. So I'm just going to mix this up. Not worried about the colour on this one. This is just going straight into these two pots. So mix it the same way as you would your epoxy, just do it quicker. We only get a two to, I think it's three to five minute, uh, two and a half to three and a half minutes pot life. So I'm just keeping my finger, I'm keeping hold of it so I can feel when it's starting to get feel a bit warm. So let's just pop that up a minute out of the way. these two there I can feel it's starting to get a little bit warm now 
nothing too much at the minute. So carefully pull that into there. mixed way too much let's try adding some of this see if I can do some of that some of that Don't know if it's going to work, but I guess only one way to find out. It's starting to get really warm now. I need to mix that in quick. slightly more yellow than I wanted it but it was a bit of a rush <laughs> some mica in there that's not mixed up properly but it is what it is I'm afraid right I'll be back when these are cured up because I've got to hold this thing in as you can see that one's starting to firm up now so I need to get me where's my chick gone my little chick in there, I need to cut that off quickly. Right, what's that? Okay, well that, that worked. That's um, well it's really stuck on there. But what I'm going to do now is obviously they didn't have enough of this and that's super... <laughs> Super yellow, very, very close to the yellow chick colour, but what I thought I'd do this time is add a little bit of this into it and do the rest of this in this colour, see what it looks like, I don't know. So another question for you, how's your weather? Believe it or not, two nights ago, we had snow. I could be wrong, it went a lot of snow, but we had snow. There was probably, it said it snowed about 34 mils, which is just over an inch, probably about an inch and a half. But bloody snowing nearly, it's near, it's, I'm filming this on the 30, uh, the 20, 29th, so that was 27th, early hours of the 27th or the 28th, not sure. We had snow. What an absolute bonkers world we're living in. Anyway, stop talking while you've got supposed to be mixing this. So, yeah, that was um, a little bit crazy. Never had, I don't remember us having snow like that before. Like I say, it started raining again shortly after. And it, it stuck to the grass more than anything. But it's like snow in the UK. You expect it in Wales. Uh, not Wales, sorry, I'm, I'm in Wales. You expect it in Scotland. And up in the mountain, like on Snowdon, possibly in Wales. But I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> that's just that's just absolutely crazy. Right, let's just get a scoop of this. Don't know what it's. Oh, look, look, it's just like liquid. 
Well, that's crazy powder. Bonk it in there. See what this does. Don't know if it's going to mix in or not. Or if it's just going to do what the other, like the floating powders do. I really don't know at the moment. It kind of looks a yucky colour now. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> It's not pleasant at all. I don't think I want to put that on the top of that one. I don't think it might on the base, but not the top. I can't decide. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just pour it in and see what we get. Oh, it's a, it's kind of a yucky colour. I'm kind of hoping it floats to the top a bit. I just can't get my moulds to sit straight anymore. Well, let's just try going that way. Even though it was saying it was level the other way. Oh, we just got great big blobs. But that was enough to do that anyway, so... I'm thankful that nobody's going to look at the base. <laughs> so it's trying, it wants to come to the surface, but then it wants to sink again. I don't know, never mind. I'm trying to splat any uh, lumps of it. But I think that's just going to have to be what it is like that. There we go. It is what it is. <laughs> so I'm, I might just... Uh, I don't know. I might just top the these two with a bit of um, UV resin. Right, I'm going to leave this to cure out. Or I'll leave it on fast forward so you can watch it curing. Um, time lapse, whatever it's called. While I tidy up. Okay, that seems to have set up nicely now. So what we're going to do is just sit that to the side to cool down a bit. And now we're going to get cracking on. <laughs> get cracking, did you get it? So, bad joke. Oh, I thought it was funny. Okay, let's find... Uh, I can just top that one up with a bit of, mm, I don't know, I could mix a bit more, but don't really want to. I'm just going to grab some clear UV resin. This is the uh, Let's Resin UV hard type, um, the 1000 grams. This was, uh, this is on, or it was last week, not sure if it still is, I will check. It was on. It had a special price. Um, it was down from sixty pounds to forty pounds. If you use the twenty pound uh, voucher that's on Amazon, well worth getting if you use quite a bit. So I grabbed myself another one. So what I'm going to do is just quickly top this up, just so that it's got a smooth base. Excuse my hand in the way. Right. 
my egg's gone a funny shape. When I say it's gone a funny shape, it wasn't much of a fun, it was a quite a funny shape when it started. The mould really wasn't great. But it, it's been a while since I bought this mould, so I can't really say a lot. I need to prop this thing up. Uh, let's just hold it like that a minute. You can hold it there a minute. There we go, we'll improvise a minute. <laughs> right, I decided I'm going to colour that top bit under the chick's feet with some green. Just so it looks a bit like grass, means it's standing on grass on its little plimp thing. But we need a nice green. Olive green, grass green. Let's have a look at this so-called grass green. Does it look grass? Well, it's not bad, I suppose. Yeah, I think we can work with that. That'll be fine. We can have glittery, sparkly, diamond dust, glitter, UV resin grass. I think well, that's set already. Yep, that's fine. Maybe I should demold this first and do it. Maybe that'd be a better idea, actually. Okay, let's try and demold this first because I don't want to seal it to the uh, the mold. Just get rid of any excess bits before we go any further. Okay, let's see how this little egg turned out. Right, so we're going to go pop you out like so. That was easier than I thought. Ooh, oh, look at the shine on that. There's a lot of scratch marks on it, but I think that's more to do with the mould. Or possibly where I was brushing it on. I don't know, but I think that's kind of cool. So that's that. Always turn your moulds back in the right way round as soon as you can. So that's that one done. And then let's do the egg as well, beans. We've got uh, that one out. Nice, easy moulds to demould. It would appear. They're just rolling straight back. Well, she says this one's still a little bit warm. Ow, my thumb. There we go. Pop. Boop. Yeah, that came out nice as well. Again, it's not complete. It's probably where I've turned it back inside out, but that's really nice. It's not actually a bad mould. Just looks wonky on the bottom just don't look at the bottom <laughs> okay so that's that one so that fits on there like oh that looks really cute actually look at that it really goes together quite well i am actually surprised at that for i think it was about a pound if that this mold uh, several years back but yeah i like that that's cute but yeah okay let, leave that there a minute so what we want to do first is just add a bit of grass to here if we can get the resin flowing a bit. A little tip for you with these. If you get them and they're a little bit thicker than you're used to working with, even if it's warm, they're, they're still quite thick. Once you've used a little bit of it, add some of this uh, Let's Resin UV resin to it. And it'll, it'll thin it out a bit. But it'll make it go further and it still looks just as sparkly as before. You don't lose any of the shine or the opacity of it. I'm looking for a pokey stick now. So we'll just run that over there like so. Oh, 
the edges of the egg and the solid and spin it round and do the same here and cover that little bit of yellow there if we can All we've got to do is stand that inside there, like so. I'll just hold it. <laughs> if I just lean it sideways a bit. Nope, just making a mess of it. This should be ready to turn out now. A little bit of overspill there. Overspill, overpour, whichever you want to call it. It's kind of a funky bass, actually. I like the uh, funky bass. It's not music, love. Uh, I like the flex of gold in that kind of cool but yes that's a very very yellow tray wow <laughs> you'll certainly see that one in the dark I probably won't actually but yeah okay that didn't turn out too bad so we just need to grab a little deburring tool Go around the edge. It's funny how much how different PU sounds to epoxy resin when you're doing this. Oops, that was a bubble. Kind of goes a little bit smaller chunks. Oops, knock that one over. Yeah. So, no, there we go. So, what we're going to do. Is I was trying to find a tattoo um, that would go nicely on hair, but I can't find one. So I'm going to quickly look through my stickers and see if we can find anything that would look nice on me. Uh, no. no, I think we'll just stick with what it is. Never mind then. So all I'm going to do now is very quickly put a bit of glue <clears throat> I'm going to use a bit of this 5 minute quick cure epoxy resin put a tiny blob on the bottom, stick it onto the base there and then job's done 
I just need a little thing just to mix a little bit up into a little pot. So all we need to do is pop the lids off. So that's probably about the same amount. Gosh, I can't squeeze with my left hand. Gives me the shakes. Ridiculous. Okay, that'll do. Right, mix the two together. Okay, I think that should be fine. I'm going to put it mainly in the middle not too close to the edge because we don't want it squirting out And we're just going to pop it on there like so. Wobbling about a bit. Okay, that's not working. I need more on there. Apparently the base is a little bit uh, concave still. I'm making so we will get it to the edge after all it so i'll be back shortly just to show you get you some uh, last minute pictures and show you what it looks like once that's dried okay that's finished so there we have it um golden easter egg with a bunny chick <laughs> on the top as a lid uh, as the handle for the lid Put some little treats in there, a lid on there maybe, or whichever, some more little treats on the side. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how it turned out, considering it, I had no idea what I was doing. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you enjoyed hearing uh, the origin story of my channel's name. Um, so yeah, anyway. And what I'd like to say is a big thank you to all my subscribers and my uh, channel members and all any of the suppliers out there who have sent me things to help me with my channel. It's very much appreciated. I love you all so much. Um, have a happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. If not, just happy Easter and have a or have a lovely Sunday. Um, and I shall see you all on the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.